There is something very special about this particular care program in terms of the impact that it has on families. Um, if you think about the time that families spend together during end of life, um, it's very important time. And it's, it's as front line of health care as you can possibly get. And so the opportunity for donors to play a role in making that the best experience possible uh, is a great thing for us to invest in. It's an important thing and we're delighted to play a part. Our foundation and our very generous donors have contributed 1.1 million to really be able to enhance uh, what the hospital budget uh, was able to do through its capital process. So we were able to upgrade things like window treatments, flooring, furnishings, um, special amenities for patient rooms, and a central, uh, what we call great room, uh, for families to gather, which has a place where they can bring in their own foods, there's soft seating, there's a fireplace, uh, there's another fireplace in this particular lounge. Um, so we're really delighted that donors have been able to play such a big role in this particular project. It's not sterile, it's a nice homey place for family members to come, and especially little children, because I think sometimes hospital being so sterile it scares little kids, doesn't it? Absolutely. And no, oh, I, I can, this is just a super, You're already super out unit. of your comfort zone when you're here anyway, so it's, exactly. it's just nice to be able to walk into a place that reminds you of home, not of a home. hospital. Yes. I think it brings ease to love everybody. It. Yeah. Absolutely love it. They've done a stunning job. Beautiful job. Palliative care should be introduced earlier than it is. It shouldn't be, um, there's nothing more we can do. It should be in a journey where you actually bring together um, people who are living with a life-threatening illness and introduce palliative care early. So as the sort of curative options start to become less, the care options um, that really focus on quality of life at the end of the life starts to have more pre um, prevalence. Um, so it should actually be a much more integrated model um, than it is at times, um, because I think in the healthcare system we're afraid to say sometimes to patients, um, there's nothing more that will, will cure you, but there's lots we can do to help you live well at the moment. And that's what's important about palliative care.